Hello YouTube and fellow sports cards collectors. This is Eric J and welcome to the channel. Today is our first video in exploring 1991 score. <clears throat> we will be putting together this set pack fresh using blaster packs like I have shown below. For the first video we'll just go through a quick overview of the set, how we're going to structure um, the openings for the set and then at the end we'll go through the rookie and traded series uh, for 1991 score so 1991 score has 893 cards in the set which at the time was one of the largest sets ever produced um, it's split into two series series one and series two we're not going to treat the individual series in separate uh, um, separately. We'll, we'll just open them together. Series 1 has cards 1 through 441 and Series 2 has cards 442 through 893. In factory sets there are there is an additional 7 card Cooperstown collection set. I do not have those 7 cards at this time. I may reach out and trade for them before the series has completed just to show them. In blister packs there are these exclusive hot rookie cards that aren't available in wax packs and there are 10 cards which you can see the checklist on the back here. So David Justice and Frank Thomas Juan Gonzalez are probably the three highlights of this group. But uh, those 10 cards we will be getting. Um, the plan is to open one Series 1 and one Series 2 in each video to show off these cards until we complete the set. Um, this particular Series 2 blaster is kind of disintegrating, so I'm not going to handle it until we open it on that video. In Series 2 for 1991 score for Wax Packs, there was a Mickey Mantle insert set. Um, since we're not opening wax packs, we're not going to see any of those. Uh, there was also an autographed uh, Mickey Mantle that you could get in Series 2 wax packs. But again, since we're opening blaster packs, we're not going to see any of those. <clears throat> um, some of the highlight rookies, there aren't too many of them. It's 1991. Um, not much of super value in these particular sets. However, there is a Mike Mussina rookie card in Series 1 and a Chipper Jones in Series 2 that we'll be looking for and find at some point. Uh, the last item is that there is a 72 card trivia set, um, which are just smaller cards that uh, are sport flick style that uh, um, give some trivia. I think it's World Series trivia for this particular series. <laughs> so we'll show those as we get them. So given that, let's just go ahead and open up this uh, um, sealed rookie and traded set. You're being stubborn here. And just to get get us started with this opening, we'll just show what these cards look like from the traded series. And video two will start with the openings of the individual packs. So let's get these guys out. out of the way. So you see these type of trivia cards that are in here. 
on the back of them. That's just a question and answer. You know what player had the most hits in a four-game World Series? At the time of this card, it was Ruth of the Yankees. who had 10 hits in the 28 World Series. So you get a handful of these cards with this particular set. Not going to go through those. It's the cards are the ones that we are more interested in. Let's zoom in just a tad. So the scorecard, the traded cards in here. I enjoyed having the pictures, uh, the color pictures in the back of most of the score and some of the detail about uh, the players in the bio section. Of course, we've got Bo Jackson with the White Sox coming back from his uh, hip injury that he suffered playing football. But Bo Jackson, Sid Bream, Dion. Dion, of course, is a Hall of Famer as a football player. George Bell. George Bell would later be traded uh, to the White Sox as part of the Sammy Sosa deal. There's one I'd forgotten about. Willie Randolph I associate with the Yankees. I'd forgotten he'd played some for the, with the Brewers. Gary Scott, uh, one of the many... Uh, third baseman that uh, the Cubs chased for years. Took him a while to find a set third baseman after Santo left and before oh, we'll probably have to go to like a Ramos Ramirez for a consistent one for a number of years in a row that didn't either suffer injuries or just have a short lived career with them or a prospect that didn't pan out. It's Fred McGriff with the Padres. Schilling, been traded from Baltimore, I believe. Yep, the Orioles. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, late career with uh, Dodgers. Dante Bichette, his son Bo, is a prospect these days. It's being filmed in 2019 for reference. Daryl Strawberry with uh, Dodgers. <clears throat> Mitch Williams traded from uh, Cubs to the Phillies prior to giving up his famous home run. Von Rodriguez. Knobloch was a pretty good player until uh, he got the throwing yips later on. Jack Morris helped the Twins win. It's a Bagwell. That should be his rookie. Daryl Kyle. 
his career was cut short. Tim Raines with the White Sox, Hall of Famer. It's Joe Carter, Blue Jays. World Series hero for them. Robbie Alomar. I think quite a few Blue Jays here because the Blue Jays were pretty good with their back-to-back -back World Series titles in the early 90s. Steve Bouchel. I mentioned the Cubs trying out a different uh, third baseman. He had a stint with them briefly. Louis Gonzalez. Of course, part of the Diamondbacks World Series. And Jeff Johnson's the last card in this uh, set, listed as 110. Though I do believe he is supposed to be oh, number 110 is the last card in the set. These are just not entirely in order. I didn't notice that in the back. But in any case, that is the rookies and traded set for 1991 score. And that's where we will end this particular video. If you enjoy watching this series um, and others like it, please feel free to leave a like and comment. Those are both appreciated. And also uh, subscribe if you want to see more content of this type. Um, look forward to chatting with you all in a future video. Thanks and bye.